What's up everybody? This is Dave here from Davey HT3 with another RC Heli tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking about your documents with your RC Heli or your plank or both of them combined. Um, this is imperative regardless whether you're flying planes or helis to know your equipment and to have reference readily available at a field distant far away take it with you have it in a binder that's very portable it's going to be pretty quick I'm just going to run through what I do to keep things organized and readily available at the field you gotta know your motor you gotta know how to set your timing PWM settings whatever whatever you gotta do with your your thing you, you need the information available and having a binder like this nicely organized um, and yeah, it's kind of flop around but you'll notice I got my new beast X manual my old beast X manual because obviously the settings are different and I write the settings in my manual I don't ever plan on selling my heli stuff so I put my settings in my manual and it's consistent every time I go through a setup I I know I'm setting up the right thing um, even just a little chart like this for um, your servo connectors you know just so you know what's going on or if you gotta do some servo connecting out there in the field any little bit helps yes I'm sponsored by Team Heli Pros that's my agreement that's my entitlements you're not really supposed to see that um, your you know decimal equivalents for if you gotta match up a screw or a fitting out in the field you gotta go to a vendor you, you got this chart you can get out your mic you can figure out the size of your fitting or your bolt or your nut and you know do a decimal equivalent and see what works for you then it goes on I've got like my ESC's I got the Atom ESC or this is the uh, 6HV ESC I got my um, user manual for my LCD program box I got my Castle Creations my I-75 right here I got my Super BEC for my 6HV I use a Grizzly level box so I got you know just the information for that if I ever need it for a reference it's all here um, Micro Beast Tuning Guide um, someone on Heli Freak I don't know his name I'm not going to mention him I don't really know him but he put out a tuning guide that's pretty comprehensive and works really well if you want I can go through it uh, leave a comment and maybe with his permission I could go through a whole setup thing on how I do a the tuning on on a flat setup on a B stacks over here I have some addendums to my B stacks this was when they released the uh, version uh, I think it was 2.0 or something they upgraded it and you had these pots that you could tune in I, I put these addendums in here so I had them obviously my Adam manual and I didn't just do it with the manual straight up how the manual goes I put in like all the bearings if you look these are all flange bearings the important stuff that I order first that I always have to replace I put little notes in and you know all this stuff is in protective coating this whole binder only costs like five bucks from Walmart to set up with the protective sleeves you know I got my pen chilling there nice little binder and everything's in it and you can assort it however you want it you know it, it could be a lifesaver you know just your setup in your tail if you don't know which way a flange bearing goes or something you got it it's right there you know and I put it in the order that I think I would use it most pertinently you can set it up however you want you could put your manual from page one to whatever when it ends you could put a you know article from RC Heli magazine which is now a business about your heli in there you know and it's kinda nice and in the back I got you know, there's decals that I've collected. You know, they, they chill there. If I ever want to stick something on my, my campy, I got it. Then in here, I actually have the, the compass manuals. They're all in here protected. Another copy of my thing. Receipts. I don't really like to look back on these guys. <laughs> but, yeah. And then some design ideas I had. But, definitely. A binder. With all your, look, I even got a bind plug in here, you know. You never know when you'll need it. You could win a heli at a fun fly or something and want to bind it up. Well, you got a bind plug, you know. It's just stuck in there. It's not taking any space. And this has worked really well. And yes, I know my heli, and you should too know your heli inside and out. But it always helps to have a manual with you. And a nice little 2-inch 3-ring binder or a 6-inch whatever. 
and it works great. I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, you still got time for the MCPX giveaway. Uh, stay tuned for another giveaway coming up right behind that. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to give away, but I'm sure it's going to be better. AdSense has been looking pretty good, getting lots of views, lots of clicks. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'd also like to thank Love to Fly Hellies, um, Terry, and uh, Cindy. They came up with these transmitter trays. They made some up, and uh, they gave Lil Hammer, Melissa, and I some to try out. She's got a pink one. I got this black one. They look great. They're made of wood, and it fits my transmitter perfectly. He's selling them for $20, I think. If you really like it, uh, contact his channel. And uh, it's Love to Fly Hellies on YouTube. Uh, I'll post a link in the video. And everything's been going great. I want to thank everybody. Um, keep watching the videos. The more views I get, the more I can give away. And the better stuff I can give away. I don't like giving you guys crap. I'd rather give out nice prizes. But... I need a lot of views to do that and a lot of clicks because I don't make a lot of money. So, you know, I use my YouTube money to buy RC stuff and then when it wears out, I pass it on to you guys to have fun with and I, I'd like to do more of that. But I need the clicks, I need the views, I need viewership, I need subscribers and, you know, I'm not going to sit here and beg for donations, you know, just, just click the videos and the giveaways will get better, you know, click the ads and that'll help. I... I know it's hard to win them and you know this last one it's it's got over 70 or 80 comments already and that shows growth that's awesome but I want to keep growing and be able to give even better prizes I really am legit I will give stuff away I'll continue to do that through the whole life cycle of the channel the more viewership the more subscribers the more I can give away the better the tutorials can get and you know everything will be better <laughs> the more the merrier so I really just want to thank everybody for watching and being so supportive. Y'all have been awesome. And uh hope you enjoyed. Take care, and we'll see you later. Peace.